Hello, it's Hacker007, and in today's video, I'm doing a Windows 8 transformation pack. Here is the final product. I thought I'd show you guys before I show you guys how to install it. Now, you get a Mac dock, custom wallpaper, and even a custom start menu. Again, this is for Windows 8 only. Now, if you like what you see, continue on watching the video, and you can see how to install it. And at the end of the video, I'll show you more of what you get, and then, of course, how to uninstall it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so if you like what you saw there, we can go ahead now and install the skin pack. Now, to choose which one is yours, go ahead and open up your Explorer menu here, and go ahead to your Computer section. Click the System Properties tab. Next to System Type, it will tell you what you need. Now, after you know what you need, go below and download the one that's yours. So for me, I have a 64-bit operating system. I'll go below and download the 64-bit one. Yours is 32-bit, go below and download the 32-bit one. Now I've already downloaded it and opened it up. So go ahead and do the same. Download it and open it up. It shouldn't take too long at all. Then go ahead and click Next. I accept. Next. Hit Skip Offer, unless you want the Babylon toolbar. But click Skip Offer, click Next, and click Install. Then go ahead and install everything that is needed to make this theme what it is. So what you want to do here is you have an option to install for everyone or just install for me. Alright, and there we go. So click the next button. And it's going to ask you to reboot. I will stop the recording and come back when it is done. Alright, so we are back with our full transformed computer. We have a custom cursor. Now, as you can tell, it is very small. Um, it works fine still, but it can be a little small at times. We have this custom wallpaper. Obviously, you can change it to a different one if you prefer. At the top, we have our Mac dock, which can be adjusted by clicking, right-clicking it and going to dock settings, and then choosing some options. Now, probably the biggest add-on of this theme is the start menu. Start menu works perfectly. Um, it grabs anything from your start menu and puts it on the front. Of course, you can go to all programs and work as if it was Windows 7. So this is a perfectly working start menu. It works, looks just as if it's the Windows 7 one, but skinned. We also get this Explorer look here, which has custom icons everywhere, kind of that Mac look to the blue icons. We have our custom close, maximize, and minimize buttons. Back and forward buttons have also been customized. And that's probably about it. Now to easily uninstall this, go to uninstall or change a program and find Aurora in here. And then you can go ahead and uninstall it. And that is as simple as it gets. Anyways guys, that's about for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please thumbs it up. Again, this is a free uh, transformation. Make sure you know either 64-bit or 32-bit because it will not work properly if you don't do that right. Anyways guys, that's about for this video. Hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in my next one. This is the Hacker Triple 7 and I'm signing off.